Hello, Pisces. Hello to all of the Pisces out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the last week of August. If you are a, a returning viewer, I welcome you back. If you are new to the channel, thank you for visiting. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you like my energy, or if you just want to be supportive to the channel, subscribe. Hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. I am um, using a new deck today. The Starman Tarot deck. These cards are like really big. <laughs> but I am going to... Um, I'm going to do the reading with them. All right. Okay. So, starting out, your your current energy is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. Let me know if this is um if the cards are too close. Next, we have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. I'm, I'm also going to be doing the Celtic, using a Celtic cross spread for this reading. Your past energy is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. What is the immediate past energy? What is the immediate past energy for the sign of Pisces for the last week in August? What is the, the immediate past energy? Okay. I'm not going to take these, but I'll take these. Okay, we have the Prince of Cups. The Prince of Cups with overall energy being the Six of Cups. I'm sorry. Just trying to make sure all of the cards can be seen. The Six of Cups. Let me move this. I'll put that back there. Then we have future energy. The, oh, the nine of pentacles. I'm sorry. The nine of pentacles. How, what you fear is the high priestess. This is your energy. as well as cancers we have the queen of wands here again let me know if um all of the cards can be seen we have the queen of wands and we need two more two more cards the queen of wands is how others uh, others are seeing you at this time Pisces, what are you hoping for? <clears throat> okay. That wanted to come out. You have the five of swords in a reverse. Okay. And lastly, what is your outcome? What is the outcome? Okay. That's too many cards. What is the outcome for the sign of Pisces? We have the, the star, Aquarius. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or having an Aquarius in your chart. I'm trying to, um, my little pup, puppy is over here biting on everything. And, uh, 
sniffing around. <laughs> See? <laughs> He's frisky. He wants to play. He just woke up. All right. So, your current energy is the two of pentacles. So, I feel like with this two of pentacles and how I'm looking at it, I feel like some some of you, someone needs to balance out a situation. Or you have balance in your life right now. Because I'm looking at those pentacles. They look like they're even to me. I guess they're even with each other. Um, so I feel like things are balanced in your life right now. I feel like you have a new stable beginning. A good foundation with this um, Ace of Pentacles influencing this energy. So because of this new beginning and this new level of um, stability, I feel like it created balance in your life or within a relationship. I'm seeing hookah. Someone could, someone could be using a hookah, or someone it could be dealing with someone with the initials of H O K E. I'm seeing H O and K H O K. And E. The number four could be relevant to someone. I don't know. It could be a birth a birthday, like someone's birthday could be on a fourth of a month. Um I feel like someone Use their intuition to manifest this new beginning that created this balance. Because I see multiple tools in this card. Yeah. I see multiple tools in the Ace of Pentacles within this Pentacles card. So you have two right here for the Two of Pentacles. And then here, <coughs> someone may have... I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a person laying down. I don't know if this person is dead or if they are birthing. Someone is birthing a new beginning or they birth a new beginning. And I'm looking at the twos right here. Like this and this are the same image. We have a pinnacle here and a pinnacle, a very small pinnacle at the bottom. If you can see that. So I feel like, and then we have two lightning strikes on each side. Yeah, someone um, used their intuition to birth or to start a new firm, firm foundation within a relationship. And it created some type of balance. It opened up. The floodgates of heaven. Like. You could be like receiving abundance. A, a level of abundance right now. Also. Um, yeah this is a gift from the universe. Because he has a halo over his head. So I feel like spirit is saying. You have the power to manifest your dreams. I feel like. Someone could have sent out an email or a text message to their person pertaining to this new beginning. In the past, 
You had an Ace of Cups and a Prince of Cups. So I feel like with the Ace of Cups, you had a new beginning in love. Like there was a new beginning. But even with the new beginning, maybe it wasn't stable. And that's why the Ace of Pentacles came in. Or someone manifested that Ace of Pentacles because the relationship may have just needed to be balanced out. So someone manifested. Yeah. Because when I look at this card, I see an image of what appears to be a woman. It's, the, it's a white image of a woman. And her arms are open. And I see clouds in the background with images of water. And I feel like, um, again, this is just letting us know that we have the power to manifest new love. So I feel like in the past you manifested this new love because cups represents your energy. You manifested this new love. You manifested this new stable beginning. Or you use your intuition to do this. And with the Prince of Cups being here, which is your energy again, Yeah, you manifest. You wanted to reconnect with someone from the past, some people from the past. You 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 manifested this. Some of you could be dealing with your opposite sign as well. So this could be like a duality thing. Um where I think if I'm not mistaken for Pisces, your opposite sign is Virgo. <clears throat> but and I say that because I'm looking at the two skeletons, like I'm seeing a lot of twos, like the same image. So that could be balance or it could be the opposite sign, is how I'm looking at it. So I feel like some of you could be dealing with your like this person could be your opposite sign, the opposite of you. But Opposites balance tend to balance each other out. Yeah, with the Six of Cups, this is your overall energy. Some of you could be reminiscing or thinking about reconnecting with um, someone from your past, but since the images in this these this card, since the images and the pictures on the card are different images, I'm going to say that some of you are. Um, man, um, thinking about connecting with a group of people or multiple people from the past, or you're thinking about something that happened in the past with the Six of Cups. I feel like in your immediate future, you have the Nine of Pentacles. With this Nine of Pentacles here. I feel like you okay so you could be working maybe um, working towards something that's going to create some type of freedom for you it's going to free you up because I, I see images okay <clears throat> This, um, that looks like a bat, but bats fly, and then this looks like a ghost, and ghosts fly. So I feel like you are working hard at this time to free yourself. Oh, and not to say she has a bird on her shoulder. So you could be working hard at this time to free up your time. Or free yourself from a situation that's going to give you more time for yourself with this nine of Pentacles that's that's your future energy 
or it could give you more time with your partner but yeah but you fear you're fearing that you may not be able to do it with the high priestess because that's your energy stop it <laughs> oh this dog is just like a kid you are fearing that you don't have the the power to manifest or to uh you you you're fearing yourself you you're fearing yourself i'll leave it at that we'll clarify it as well so how others see you others see you as being busy working all the time you're busy you could be um surrounded by most like a group of people and you could be surrounded by a group of people and these group of people could praise you they could give you honor praise Maybe you're doing something that they like, but I see a group of people surrounding you. And with the five of swords in the, in the reverse, you're hoping that there isn't anything deceitful going on. Because you you are healed and hoping for a better time in the future with the star card. You're hoping for something better in the future. Because you want to be free. This this woman is naked. You're already you're you are ready to be free from something. And you're working hard to manifest this freedom. You're working hard to manifest this freedom. So I am going to um, <clears throat> clarify this with So it looks like you it looks like your relationship is good. Like you manifested, a, you you were able to use your intuition to create balance in your uh, love life with your partner. You may want to, you, I feel like you want to reconnect with this person. Could also, this person that you're with, as I said before, this could be a person that's the opposite of you like your opposite sign but they could also be your past life partner your past life partner as well like you could have been with this partner in a previous lifetime as well i just want to pull four more cards to get a little more i'm sorry clarity Spirit. Okay. All right. And four cards came out. <laughs> Thank you. So we have the seven of chalices. So you and your partner. You and your partner may like to, someone could be a little on the fluffy side, but, um, like there could be one person thin and one person a little bigger. Someone could, um, be top heavy. Someone may have dark hair. One person may have blonde hair or lighter color hair. 
But I feel like you and your partner, after you have sexual intercourse, I feel like you um you may just sit and talk and feed them. I feel like you could sit and talk and feed this person. Like this looks like a, a relationship that is um present. It's not this is not a new relationship. This is something from that's current, like already going on. Some years has been put in. Yeah, because I'm seeing pinnacles. I see pinnacles and I see cups. So there's a lot of love in this relationship. Yeah. We have the six of chalices. Success. Loving. Same energy as the six of cups. Reconnecting with someone from the past. This is a current relationship. Thinking about the person from the past. Reconnecting with the person from the past. Yeah. We have the nine of spades. Nine of swords. So I feel like with the nine of swords. Someone likes to give or receive oral sex. Specifically, this could be someone, like one person likes to get on the floor while the other person is sitting in a chair. And with the seven of swords, I feel like <clears throat> with the seven of swords, someone is just waiting for the other person to come in. Like, I feel like you two really enjoy each other and I feel like you like seeing each other naked. So I, f I just, from what I see, I see, I feel like you are loving this person. You have created a new beginning with a more balanced, stable foundation. You use your intuition to reconnect to the relationship. Like the relation, the relationship has grown with the time within the time that you two have been together but you wanted to reconnect you wanted to um th that spark again and i feel like that's why you are freeing yourself or working hard to free yourself from other obligations so that you and this person could have better times ahead but I feel like your relationship is good. Your sex life looks wonderful. And you really enjoy each other. So, um, yeah. Pisces, I'm going to leave it at that. If this reading resonates with your situation, comment below. Share, like, and subscribe to the channel. 
Be safe out there. I'm sending you lots of love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.